here. So I'm here again with another um, part to the January Journal in Joy using the Winter Woodlands collection. And there is a playlist in the description box below if you want to catch up on how this lovely cover was made and the interactive elements and um, what we've made so far. So we're on with some ideas for the um, signature. So, you know, I, I do repeat myself, but journaling joy, the whole idea is that we're keeping it simple. Um, so for this first page here, I want to make a, like a pocket for some reason. Don't ask me why. I'm going to just grab my trimmer. And I want to make like a little word tag to slide into a pocket. And with the words January on, because this is January's Journal Enjoy. So I've cut out one of the words that I created for my subscribers and um you know so these ideas are for using my journal enjoy collection but you know you can take these ideas and you can use them with any collection with what you're working on today or whatever so let me just think i want so that's fairly straight i just want a little a little something so how wide do I want it? About that wide. Yeah, and I want room to glue it shut. So about there. I literally just do things by eye. And, uh, you know, get yourself into the habit of just having a plan. Just, you know, you don't have to follow a set pattern or a set theme or a set, set measurements. It's just having a little bit of fun. So that's going to go in there like so. So the, And the idea is, so you can see it. So this is just like a glassine bag that I've got hanging about. You could use uh, anything. The clear window on a, on a junk mail envelope. Absolutely anything. Okay. Now I'm just going to use one of my little, if it will, I don't know if it'll punch it. Oh, it has. Just create myself a little thumb notch there and then I'm going to try and put the tiniest amount of glue to just seal this shut. Glue can sometimes show on glassine and vellum. Don't really bother me, I'm not worried about it. Okay, just make sure I've got room for my little doofa that I'm creating. I'll slide that in. You know, if you didn't want to glue it, you could just sew it with your sewing machine, whatever. Okay. Come on. I don't want you to glue in there. I don't want you to stay in there forever. You're just a little tag. There we go. I might have to be patient and wait for that to dry. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little hole in the top of here. Or a large hole. And I may well put a finger me bobber a eyelet in it okay let me get my eyelets one of these what have i used i've used the bronze ones okay I'll just see if we can set that nicely however it's gonna look like a dog's dinner you just never know Oh, it's done it nicely. Okay, has it gone through? Yep. Yeah. So I've got myself a little pocket there. I am going to carry on using this skinny twine that I really don't like, but, you know, I'm going to use it. And I'm just going to... I might triple it. It's just a little bit too thin, but, I, you know, I need to use it for something, so I may as well use it in this journal. I'm just going to tie it. Just going to tie it in a knot like so like i always keep saying it's just a bit of added interest okay and then this here i can just literally glue onto my page and that's that bit done and i've just added a little bit of interest and on the very first page whoever ends up with this journal whether i sell them at the end of 12 months or whether i keep hold of them can lift that out immediately and this is my 
January monthly journal. Right, so that's one idea. Let's get on to another. I'm just going to set that aside to dry. And I'm going to do an idea that I've done previously. It's nothing new. I've already folded my paper to make sure I've done it right. So we're getting a sheet of A4, all letter size. I've cut the border off, I've inked it, and it's printed on both sides. Okay, so whichever you want to be your um, most focal that you see the most of, have flat to the desk. So then we're going to make a fold. Now I do this very much by eye, but I'll give you a measurement. So I'm folding at approximately three and a half inches. Okay, so if you want to measure three and a half inches, okay, then fold your piece of paper in half and try and line the top and bottom up as nicely as you can okay then unfold it and then here you want to where you've just done that first fold you're folding that straight across so you've got a triangle like so and you fold it straight back again and then you get this triangle and you fold it there so i'll do it one more time so you've got it flat on the desk like so you're going three and a half inches in from the left hand side and you're making a fold and you're folding straight across like so flush top and bottom best you can i've not cut my paper straight so mine's not completely straight but i'm not worried then unfold it and then where that crease is get this top right corner and fold it straight down that crease so that you've got a triangle okay then fold it all over again and where this is fold it in line with the edge of there as rough rough like don't matter if it's not perfect you can see mine's not perfect i'm not too bothered if you're worried about it not being perfectly lined up you can always go in with your trimmer or your scissors and trim it okay so this part here you can either tuck behind or you can trim off whichever you prefer i'll just uh, i'll just trim it so that it looks neat okay i'm trimming that off I think I'm going to cut that off because I don't really want the bulk. Okay, I don't really want the bulk of that corner. So I'm trimming it off. All right. Ink, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Trying to keep these videos as quick as I can. You know, um, some of the ideas I have certainly done before. You may have seen elsewhere, but I've certainly done them before. So what we're going to do now is you could either hold all of this together okay with a paper clip here okay or a paper clip there by doing that this will always fold out for hidden journaling okay if you so desire okay or you can put a bead of glue down there and along the bottom and there okay i quite like the idea of it being fold out journaling i quite like that idea so i'm going to have a paper clip there and do I have a mini paper clip? I could do with a mini one. Uh, do I have mini paper clips? <laughs> I do somewhere in my life, but where they are, I don't know. Uh, there we go. So you could just use paper clips like so, okay? And it will hold it all together. All right, am I gonna glue it? I'm going to glue it. Okay. So I'm going to glue mine. All right. So I'm going to put a line of glue there. Line of glue on the bottom. Fold. And a line of glue on the bottom of here. And a little bit up the side there. And you automatically, you know, you're creating pockets. Aren't you? Really, really simple. Just need to wait for that to dry. You've got a pocket there, a pocket there. Okay, but you know, we don't only make do with two pockets. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a page we want it on. Okay, I'm going to spread them out a bit. Don't want something decorative on every single page. But we've got quite a lot of... I uh, quite like that for writing, but... Looks nice with the dotty on there, doesn't it? So yeah, I'm going to use this. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to turn it into a belly band. So I'm going to glue it top. And I'm going to glue it bottom. And then I'm just going to really simply add it to my page. 
Okay, I'm going to try and centralise it so it looks kind of nice, but it doesn't really matter. You could have it right over there or right over there, but if you centralise it, it's easier to slide things in and out of. Okay, and then once that's all dry, I'm just going to clip it so that it dries. You can just fill it with ephemera, uh, preferably stuff that you've made. You know, you can add, let's have a look what I've got on my desk. Let's have a look what I've got on my desk. I've got some of these little tags left over. Okay, you can add some little tags. Okay, like so. I've got these journaling cards here. Will that fit? Will it fit? Mm. I've not cut these out. If I just trim those like so. You know, and I might make some other interesting ephemera as I go along through my journal, which I can then add to things. And then through the belly band, I can add, once it's dry, once the glue's dry, I can add another journaling card of some description or a little notebook. i probably make a scrap, little scrappy notebook out of leftovers. In fact, let's just have a quick look. Um, I just have time to quickly make one because they take no time at all. Okay, so we've got my little journaling cards. Are they going to fit? Oh, there we go. Just, just fits. Could probably do with taking a sliver off, but I'm going to wait until this all this glue's dry, and then I'll use my trimmer and probably just take a sliver off of those, or I could put them there. Okay, and then put my tags in there instead. Yeah, so I could have those there like so. I can add some more decoration here with a word or, you know, cut something from the from the collection. I don't actually have anything fussy cut, but I will come back to that because we've got the circles, haven't we, that we can decorate. We've got these pretty circles. We've got all of these words. We've got these tabs. You can um, punch something out from here and make a cluster there. I'll probably do that on another video. I'll show you what I've done because I don't want this video to be too, too long. So then obviously we can put something in the back there. Shall we just make a really quick little notebook? So I've got these pile of papers. So I cut these for a journal and I tried using a Stanley knife to make the pages even and this is what always happens which is why i don't use knives um so i'm just going to take just three i think just three okay and let's just make a little scrappy notebook so i've just got three pages i think i'm going to just chop that in half and i'm using my tim holtz because it's more robust for heavy duty stuff I'm just going to cut all of these in half about there and then I've got two of these little notebooks and it doesn't matter that the bottom's tatter and uh, you know it's fine I can just use them as they are so let's have a look what we're going to do here quite like that image there so all we need to do is just grab some leftover papers that's nice isn't it added a lot of ink on there for some reason i don't know why you've done that i don't want to use that one then let's have a look for another one don't really want to print anything else out today will this fit that'll fit that'll do right let's get the white border off get the white border off and then we can see what we're working with so i'm just going to uh, I like that as well. Where's that? No, where's that darker blue one? There's one that's really dark blue that will make a really nice topper. Is that it? Is that it? Well, that's quite light, isn't it? Maybe it's in my imagination that I had a darker one. I think it's in my imagination. So what we'll do is I'll use some of this. Right. Okay, so that's going like so. Let me get a little pencil or pen, which of course I don't have because I've never got anything to hand. 
because I'm disorganised. Okay, about there. Give it a chop. And this is how little I measure and plan things unless I'm doing a folio that needs to be precise. When it comes to the journal making part, it really doesn't matter. Okay? It really, really does not matter. So that's going to go there. Let's have some of this. What does that measure? Uh, three and seven eighths. Hmm. Need that white border off. It's about three and seven eighths. Is that about right? That'll do for me. Right, so let's have a look what we can make from these just scraps of paper. I'm going to ink these bits. Okay, ink all of this. And then, of course, when you've done it, you can embellish it further. Um, I can do things like this fairly quickly, but when it comes to like embellishing, like adding, I don't know, fussy cutting and adding things, it can take me, for some reason, a while. Um, so I will show you what I've done when I've done it, because <laughs> I've not done it yet. Right, so I'm just going to glue this onto my front cover. Okay, so I've got like a double layer effect, like that, just extra interest, I'm always saying it. And I'm going to put this in, and I'm just going to, let me think how am I going to do it. Shall we just do it with string? We're using what we've got, aren't we? We are using what we've got. And so, let's have a look. What we've got here we've got a we've got a january i can use january monthly oh, i quite like that one quite like this one Let me just get that out really quickly really quickly trim one of these so one of the um Kofi ladies that is subscribed to me asked if I would do some of the wordage in different sizes so that they could put them on different things. So I promptly went away, beavered about and created an extra page. And that's the kind of thing that I'll do for my followers, my subscribers when they, whenever they need it. Do I want that backed on some black? I think I do do for some reason I want that on but on some black so let me get some long scissors to trim that down with I just think it looks nicer if you back things with card that looks nice doesn't it right so how are we gluing this together how are we going to do it let me have a think I think um I know what we'll do. We'll just we'll just glue it on. We will just glue that part onto there like that. Okay. Hold it in. Okay, and then all we need to do is just thin bead of glue on the back of that one to glue it to that one. Yeah, thin bead of glue on the back of that one to glue it to that one. Just very thin bead of glue it will hold. Saves you sewing. And when that's dry, they'll just all lift up like so. It'll be absolutely lovely. And then we can just add this. Do I want a bit of, bit of like cloth or material or lace or something? Under that, what have I got? What have I got to hand? I'm literally just dragging things out at the side of me now. <laughs> and it's all over the floor. Oh dear me. 
one mess never mind let's have a look what we've got what's this this bit of sheet or something i don't even know what it is it's this little bit of trash we'll use this little bit of trash <laughs> what is it is it cheesecloth might be cheesecloth i don't know it feels a bit widely woven for cheesecloth i'm just going to cut a piece to fit my sentiment and just shred it a little bit give myself a little tatty embellishment all right there we go so let's have some of that down there like so and my word over the top so we don't need any string to bind it and eyelets we can just glue it oh well, there we go we've got a cute little notebook and then what i'll do is i'll add um i'll cut out one of the oh, what have i got here i forgot about these I've got these circles haven't i uh, Mm. I'll embellish that I'll embellish that and show you on the next video and I'll show you the rest of this embellished otherwise the video is going to be far too long but that will just slide in there and you've just got yourself a quick little notebook and a quick little one page folded belly band so there you go there's two really quick and easy ideas to fill a couple of pages already in your journal so i'll see you in the next video we're going to do some more i'll probably do another couple of videos on some quick and easy ideas to give you some inspiration so i'll see you in the next video bye for now